What is up, everybody? It's your boy Wiper Three One Twenty One here. We're back. An episode of Fallout Three. Let me fix my pop filter there. It's all right. Last episode, we uh, we uh, went to Arafu. Found out not everything was as it seemed. There was a type of a family issue. In more way than one. So somehow I ended up here. Uh, you radiated manhole cover. Let's fucking go. Ramen. Right mouse button on accident. Oh. oh. Hi. Oh. I was not expecting you. Ah. This might kill me. I can't move. Okay, well that happened. I honestly thought it sounded like a damn mole rat. So I was perfectly fine. I was like, oh, it's a mole rat. You know, I'll just hit it with a repellent stick. It'll be all Gucci. No, no. My alert. So anyways, that happened. Now. We'll let dog meat take care of this. Dog. Yeah, not the biggest fan of my lurks, personally. They're mildly annoying to me. But you know what? What can you do, right? I don't know what that would have done, but I don't want it to happen. Oh, hey, what's up? Well, I mean... Why not, right? Fuck. Alright, dog meat. If you see him, go get him. Don't take that shit. Come on, you got you don't gotta take your shit. Come on now. There you go. Just like that. Okay. So now let's roll up on this here thing. Disarm this tripwire. Quick save. All right. I don't see what blew me up. I'm looking. There's one. Pretty sure we're good. F5 again. Any ghouls around, I, I shouldn't have an issue with them. Baseball gun.
What the fuck? I just wanted to see if it would happen. It it did. Just another one back here. Is that just a rock? That's just a rock. All right, dog meat. Let's go, buddy. This isn't where we need to go. Fuck. Whoa, whoa. Slow there down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Yep, it's important. All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all got my eyes on me, people. No, he's got his eyes. It's, whoops. Turn that bitch off. Alright. So here, we're coming up on the family now. And the family... From what I understand, our group of outcasts, we got together to chill. And that man the up there, that's Vance. The Yo, hey, what? Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well... Unmarried ones, anyway. Well, ain't that something special? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. I could be his friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Alright. Bye. If you ain't gonna help me, I don't need to talk to you. I've never seen you around here before. Shut up. Justin. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiatives. Your eyes are a little My name's friend. Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Ian, what do you want from him? I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance well, that was about this. Easy. All right. I understand. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and go up to Vance here. Oh, right mouse button. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Um. Yeah. What you see before Very you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We we'll learn to continue. are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals eaters of human flesh society labels us as monsters demons and the unclean you amaze me never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess tell me then I don't know what that's supposed to mean but whatever do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away of course not do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Maybe not a dirty one. Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging.
Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most See, important. See, that's where your things go wrong with me. Because place where their medically, are tolerated you don't and drink understood. blood. Alright. What blood gets into your stomach? You get ah, like, super yes. sick. You My know? newest charge. Like, what it's just not good. Like, anybody who's had, like, some sort of a blood anything going down in the stomach, they'll tell you. Then start throwing up. His human family still remains. Even more of a reason he needs you know, to remain throw it in isolation. Up, get sick. Ian is at a critical moment. And he actually caused a lot of trouble right because now. your body can start to reject shit. After it's all not that good. occurred in Arafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides but what anyways, he wants to do. I digress. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. That's because of my odd. intervention that night. He stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Yeah. Your words impress me, yeah. human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to human? Ian, you're you act like you're so. not a human, jackass. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Can you, can you tell me where that is, or do I just gotta, gotta follow the marker? I'll just follow the marker. Pretty sure this is it back here, since I need a code and whatnot. Open the store. Yo, what's good, boy? Hey, I'm West. How do you get in here? You have a really deep what voice. What do you want? Been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Yeah. There's sure. something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Well, I could do this, or I'd give him that. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Well, that was easy. Alright. Let's go talk to Vance, then. I could have done the speech thing, but I wanted him to have a bond with his sister, you know what I mean? Oh, the speech table will give me experience. Fuck! Ugh! I Hi, trust your talk with young Ian went well. For me. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. I really Did for you. come to a decision? Okay. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. There we go. We can do that. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from no, hospital. No, no, you see, you did survive. The problem was that you threw up all over the place. Were scarce. What do you propose? In exchange, you protect them. I like the sound of that. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, 
What of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Oh, he's hauling ass out of here. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hard that you had you're wearing, to endure dude? finding this place. Is that a fencing glove or something? Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Schematics for the shish kebab. That's the sword you got. Alright, now how the hell do I get out of here? Do I just I have to go the way I came? Sometimes, with all the troubles we have, it seems Yeah, impossible. whatever. I don't really give a damn. Alright. So the shish kebab is why I was saving the, uh... The motorcycle. Gas tank and all that for. And that I need to find a handbrake. But, yeah. That's what I was doing there. Maybe y'all saw me grab those. And out this little hole in the wall. Not really that hole in the wall, but this hole in the wall. Oh, it's you again. What's up? What's good, man? Hey, be more Shut up, motherfucker! Tell me to be more careful. All right, so I'm gonna make my way out of here, and then I'll come back with you once I'm in Airfu. All right, Airfu, we're back. I'm gonna go talk to Evan King here. There he is, the hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Well, you're Thanks welcome. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Yep, proposal. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance yep. know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I hope you can provide me appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Oh, well, thank you. Give Come me on a back beer. soon. I may have some stuff for you. Give me a fucking beer. All right then. Yeah, I can't believe it either, doggy, dog meat. Anyways, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Dealing the peaceful way to deal with the family. Wait, do I? It said, "Give your proposal to Vance." Hold up, just one second. All right, I'm back up here. Let's go talk to Vance. See what the hell he said about going Always and talking to Vance. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. What Moresti. brings you down here today? Yep, Airfu accepted your proposal. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact... I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Oh. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. I'll give you some I can only packs, offer my friend. thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. He gave me nothing, and I... Oh, no, there it goes. Eight blood packs removed, 120 bottle caps added. Okay. So, if we ever wanted, we could come down here and become a vampire and whatnot. I suppose that'd probably make blood packs more effective. But... Yeah. Probably make blood packs more effective. But I don't really use blood packs all that much, so... Don't do me any good. 
Anyways, we got some good work done this episode. We, uh, we, we saw the, fuck. We saw the family. Let's get up against this wall. We saw the family. We talked. And we, we came to an agreement. Not a lot of action. A little bit of the mileage, but not a lot of action. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to do things peacefully. You can't just go in guns a blazing and kill everybody. Sometimes my mouse wheel is just derpy as fuck. Anyways, that's going to do it for me this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you all like the video, feel free to tune by for the next one. Thank you.